Incredible scenes as Turkey have their first real blip of the World Cup qualifiers. They've actually been stellar up to this point in the competition. They draw three all tonight with Latvia. It was going quite well. It was going like smooth sailing the way that the rest of their games have gone. Their first goal was brilliantly worked from the throw in. It was a nice interchange of play and then it eventually comes to Hakan Chalonoglu. Sorry if I get the mispronunciations by the way. I know some people were quite upset with that in the last video I'd done on the Turkish game but I'm doing the best that I can. But it's Hakan Chalonoglu who passes the ball in to Karaman, just puts it near post. It's a clever finish, and the keeper maybe could do better, but it's coming at him quickly, so I don't... When it's near post, I don't necessarily blame the keeper unless they get a touch to it. In that case, I think you should be saving him. It's a good goal. It puts Turkey ahead within three minutes as well, so you just think, oh, shit, here you go again. Turkey are just going to go and run away with the game. And they actually scored a second, and I was from, from the cross in, and it was just headed up in the air, and it's that man again, Hakan Çalanoglu, gets an assist and gets the goal. It's a decent enough volley. He gets enough on it to put it towards goal and his body shapes all right but the ball bobbles towards the net and I think the person in the keeper should be doing much better to keep that out I know that I know that it's bouncing it's a bobbly surface but it should be doing better to be honest with you but not long after Turkey's second goal Latvia actually I think it was like two minutes late a minute later or two minutes later Latvia fought back and managed to get their own goal it's a great counter attack from the left hand side great pass outside of the foot and it's a decent enough finish because he hits it across the face of goal and Sionchu nearly blocks it nearly gets there comes off his knee smacks against the post and goes in yeah it was just that was a summary of the night that it was going to be for Latvia just a fight back and just to trying to get their way back into this game Salvanaix something like that sorry for the pronunciation again I'm trying my best but he got Latvia back into it 2-1 and the game was back on and that was until some great movement by Mulder out on the right hand side he, he puts the shifts the ball past the defender goes to recollect it but the defender uses the wrong foot bring I want to say brings him down of course he's going to look for the penalty of course he's going to go down and some people will call it soft. It's it's just it's silly defending to be honest. He uses the wrong foot and tries to come across the player and don't do that. Just it was a bit clumsy. Take you get the penalty. Yomaz makes it 3-1. There you go. Three goals scored in three games consecutively. I think that's it. That's the game done. 3-2. And then Latvia come back. They come back and show great spirit again. It was a header back into the box. Side foot makes it 3-2 from Ultra Kiss. And 3-2. The game's back on. Turkey, maybe squeaky bum time a little bit, but fantastic spirit, desire, and fight in the game from Latvia. Beautiful cut back and near post finish. Not a lot that the keeper could do about it because it's near post, it's quick, it's low, it's so hard to try and save from a goalkeeper's perspective. But it's three all in the game. I thought that Latvia were fantastic in terms of fighting. Turkey, to be honest, they were as good as they usually have been for most of the games. They were quite early on in the game, they were resolute in defence, they had loads of possession, they showed attack and intent, they looked dangerous. They Looked like they could score with every attack. But Latvia just weren't there to say no. They tried to fight back every time they managed to get the goals. They weren't the best looking goals, but a goal's a goal. They scraped back in the third one, especially to cut it back and to finish it near post with that much pressure on you. Fair play. But no, great, great game from both teams, I want to say. Entertaining for the neutral. Of course, we've had an 8 0 game from Belgium. We've had a 7 0 game from Netherlands. This game was still quite entertaining if you watched it like I did. So fair play to Turkey as well. This this is still a very good World Cup qualifying campaign from them. Turkey is still top of their group. They're just on seven points now instead of nine. You've got Holland who are second with six points. Montenegro who are third with six points. And then Norway who are fourth with six points. So it's still all to play for in their group. They could have built up a little bit of a gap with a win here. Fair play to Latvia. That's all I can say. You know, they, they came back and they were 3-1 down. So to come back into the game is very good from them. Yeah. So there you go. Ta-ra.